If you invested $1,000 in Apple 10 years ago, how much would you have made? Let's find that out now. The amount that a stock's price varies over time is relevant to most investors. It can have an impact on your investment portfolio while also allowing you to compare investment results across sectors and industries. FOMO, or the fear of missing out, is another factor that can impact investors, particularly when it comes to tech giants and prominent consumer-facing firms. What if you had made a 10-year investment in Apple AAPL? It wasn't easy to hold on to AAPL for so long, but how much would your investment be worth now if you did? In-depth analysis of Apple's business. Let's take a look at Apple's primary business drivers with that in mind. Apple's business revolves entirely around the iPhone. However, the services portfolio, which includes cloud services, the App Store, Apple Music, Apple Care, Apple Pay, licensing, and other services, has now become the cash cow. Non-iPhone gadgets, including as the Apple Watch and AirPod, also garnered a lot of interest. Apple, in fact, leads the wearables and hearables categories because to the increasing popularity of the Apple Watch and AirPods. Apple Watch's strong acceptance also helped the company enhance its position in the personal health monitoring market. Apple's headquarters are in Cupertino, California, and the company also designs, manufactures, and sells iPad, MacBook, and HomePod devices. Software applications including as iOS, macOS, watchOS, and tvOS are used to power these devices. Apple's additional services include Apple News Plus, which requires a subscription, Apple Card, Apple Arcade, a new Apple TV app, Apple TV Channels, and Apple TV Plus, which requires a subscription. Apple's total revenue in fiscal 2020 was $274.52 billion. The iPhone, the company's flagship product, accounted for 50.2% of total revenue. The categories of services, Mac, iPad, and other products contributed 19.6%, 11.2%, 8.6%, and 10.4%, respectively. Apple discloses revenue mostly by region, including the Americas, North and South America, Europe, European countries, India, the Middle East, and Africa, Greater China, China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan, Japan, and the rest of Asia Pacific, Australia and other Asian countries. Americas, Europe, Greater China, Japan, and the rest of Asia Pacific accounted for 45.4%, 25%, 14.7%, 7.8%, and 7.1% of total revenues, respectively, in fiscal 2020. In the smartphone industry, Apple confronts fierce competition from Samsung, Xiaomi, Oppo, Vivo, Google, Huawei, and Motorola. In the PC market, its main competitors are Lenovo, HP, Dell, Acer, and Asus. Google and Amazon, smart speakers, are two more significant competitors, as are Fitbit and Xiaomi, wearables. Conclusion It takes a combination of research, patience, and a little amount of risk to put together a successful investment portfolio. If you bought Apple stock a decade ago, you're probably very happy with your decision today. According to our calculations, a $1,000 investment made in June 2011 would be worth $11,628.19 on June 23, 2021, a gain of 1,062.82%. This return does not include dividends, but it does include price gains. Apple is benefiting from the app stores, cloud services, musics, advertising, and AppleCare's sustained strength in the services area. Apple's near-term prospects are promising, thanks to new iPhones that support 5G, a refreshed iPad and Mac lineup, a healthcare-focused Apple Watch, and a growing App Store ecosystem. The capacity of Apple to attract small developers has been a crucial driver. Furthermore, Apple devices are gaining popularity among businesses. Apple's recent iOS 15, iPadOS 15, macOS Monterey, and watchOS 8 upgrades demonstrate the company's commitment to user privacy. Apple, on the other hand, remained tight-lipped about its plans owing to the COVID-19 pandemic's uncertainty. Furthermore, increased scrutiny and legal issues surrounding the App Store are stumbling blocks.